thankfully for me, uh, what I love about spine surgery and spine problems is that there's not one specific treatment for all of them. Uh, you know, if all you have is a hammer in your toolbox, you've heard that saying before, everything looks like a nail. It's really true. You know, uh, uh, dorsocom stimulators is, is another tool in your toolbox, uh, so to speak, to help patients with spine problems. Um, those kind of, uh, what it, it's designed to do is to block pain impulses from the nerve uh, to your brain. And it does it by actually stimulating a part of your spinal cord. Now your spinal cord runs from the base of your skull to the thoracic spine. Your spinal cord stops really about where your bottom rib is. So it's a little uh, wire that's inserted with a needle uh, under local anesthesia. You're awake and uh, uh, it, it stimulates the, the little area of your spinal cord where the pain impulses travel. So it sort of blocks it. Now that doesn't mean you can't feel anything. That doesn't mean your legs don't work. Uh, all that still occurs, but what patients say is they experience a buzzing sensation. And the truth of the matter is, is that it's been researched in studies and we're still not really sure exactly how it works uh, in, in people. But we do know that it's been working well since the 60s. It's not something that was developed last year. It's been around for a long time. And uh, uh, the technology, particularly the batteries and the devices and everything that are used with it have improved tremendously as well. Um, so it's, it's a device that's used in people that have had spine surgeries or have problems that won't respond to spine surgery uh, who have neuropathic pain, and that's the key word, is neuropathic. Uh, doors come stimulators for people who've had surgeries or problems that can't be fixed. They're gonna have that pain, and this is a way of controlling or modulating or modifying whatever words you like that pain chronically for the rest of their life. So you said during the procedure, I'm awake. Yes. It's local anesthesia. Correct, it's an outpatient surgery. And you're you're placing a wire right. inside. Sounds scary, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So what can I expect after this, after this procedure? Uh, it's done under local anesthesia because uh, uh, it's, it's a, actually a relatively safe procedure. Uh, but it's done under local anesthesia for two reasons. One is safety, uh, because uh, we're inserting something in your spinal canal and if uh, we would like to, if, the, if it's a problem developing, you can tell us, okay? Uh, the other reason is, is because where you place it is really critical. Uh, where you place that lead or that wire in the spinal canal, uh, say a quarter of an inch to the left or a quarter of an inch to the right or a quarter of an inch too high or too low, may mean the difference between it working and covering your pain down your leg or stimulating your navel. Uh, so I mean, you have to tell us, you know, we, we do manipulate it a little bit. Uh, you don't feel any pain while the manipulation is going on. Uh, so once that's completed, then we send you home. Now, uh, Just right away, send me home. We uh, put a big dressing over you and send you home. It's really a two-stage procedure, uh, and is the way I do it. Some people do it in one stage. What I mean by two-stage procedure is we put a temporary one in you. And the reason for that is that if we're gonna do this, you're sort of buying into it for life. Uh, so if we're going to put a temporary, we put a temporary one in you to see if it really works you know, to see if it's gonna help you. Uh, the temporary one uh, you use for five to seven days, you go home, you see how you like it, see if it covers the pain, if it affects the pain, and when you come back, if you're satisfied with it, then we put a permanent one in you. The permanent one is internalized, in other words, you can go swimming, you can get wet, it's all underneath the skin, there's not anything sticking out. Uh, and the battery life of those, uh, we even have rechargeable ones you can actually put under the skin and you can actually recharge the battery. Recharge the, the battery under your skin. Yes, yes, I said that, you heard me right. You can, they can recharge the battery under your skin. Uh, and uh, so that would be the permanent one. That's the permanent device that you get. So, uh, and that's, I prefer to do that under local anesthesia too. Uh, 